Hello, good people. And uh, today I get one very important talk. We be say this talk now. We talk we don't dig ground since. I mean, it has always been there. It has to do with the politics, especially around Suvlire, my constituency. Especially in just in the just concluded uh, presidential and the uh, 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 federal house of uh, uh, representative uh, elections, where we have this our candidate uh, Honorable Shoinka. Yeah, and I heard he lost. Unfortunately for Labour, which I am now supporting, they didn't field a candidate. The Labour candidate for Sue Larry constituency won, won, but they did not field a candidate in Sue Larry constituency too. So, uh, showing he can run for office. And then the APC guy defeated him. Am I sad that he was defeated? I am not. In fact, I am happy. You know, sometimes it takes people to to experience it the hard way for them to learn their lesson. Showing can never learn his lesson. You know, he is surrounded by those who you know just want to tell him what what he wants to hear. I remember I spoke to him not directly uh, at our world meeting at a time when he came to visit us. That was about three years after he won the election to represent Sulu constituency too. He never held any meeting with the constituency and then he went to Abuja. And then when election was coming in, you, you, that's when he remembered, you know, he had people and then he came and he organized this meeting and the people were telling him, you are nice, you are this, this. I stood, I stood up and I expressed myself. I told him where yeah, there are loopholes and then that he is, whatever is going on in, in the party, he is to be blamed. No, you know, he would, you know, he surrounded himself with people who don't listen, people who just want to drink off every day and then um, just blab off every day. His loss is a lesson for all of us. I tell people, gone are those days when we do politics because this person is my party member. I don't do such politics anymore. I'm a card carrying member of PDP, but yeah, man, gone are the days when I do politics based on party. No, it has changed. It has changed. And this is what is happening. Can, can you even imagine presidential election? PDP did not even score up to 100,000. You know, so the revolution has started. You cannot lead a people from behind. You have to lead from front. His loss has opened up the eyes of a lot of people. They should learn from this. We all should learn from this. That that seat that you occupy today is not a permanent place. And I am very proud of Labour Party. How much they have fielded very nice candidates. I just saw on the internet the House of Assembly member, a, 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 a candidate for Labour Party in two little constituency one. Vibrant young man. Vibrant young man. And this is not even an, just for our, you know, political leaders. It is also for the members. It is also for the members. You all have to learn a lesson. The lesson that, listen, we all have to understand that politics is not just, yeah, yeah, you just come, say, it must have to be uh, this person. What if your party, because we know how we select our, our, our candidates. We have few people make decisions for the other p p uh, party members. Few people, in the name of delegates, they can just feel anybody and give to you and then... Whether you are clear with your conscience or not, you are forced to support that candidate against your will. Gone are those days. Gone are those days. Because it has never helped anybody. It has never helped us. Rather, it has plunged us deep into confusion. Whereby feuding people that doesn't listen. 
a member representing a constituency should be a mouthpiece. It should be in practical terms, literally representing the constituency. So you don't make laws on behalf, as in uh, in the absence of the constituency. You make laws because the constituency, you must have discussed with your constituents and then come to an agreement before you go ahead with that. Not you winning an election and you create a gap between you and the you and the lead. So I don't know. This video you might not watch it. I'm talking about Shoinka. Shoinka, you may not watch it, but I know someday one way or the other, one or two people where they support you, you know, go see this video. And they go still tell you what in I talk. I supported you. I supported you. But uh, I remember then I was treated as if I, I was a rag, I was a nobody. Probably because I am a non-indigenous, according to you guys. Even if some of Una, we they call people non-indigenous, most of Una are non-indigenous. You claim to be indigenous, indigenous, and you are not even from Lagos State. You know, some of you are not from Lagos State. What is important is that we are Nigerians. And that's enough. That is enough. Why are we doing this to ourselves? I hope the person that won now will not just back the constituents, the people. Now, you don't win the election, then you, you don't have rapport with the people. You don't know what they are going through. You don't listen to critics. And even if people criticize you, that person is by your followers. Your followers will just see the person as an enemy. Well, some of them will probably find some other job, another hustle to do because right now money don't come from Fedra anymore. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lesson. And then if he has intention to run uh, for elective position in, 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 uh, any time in the future, he must have learned his lesson. The governorship election is coming. I am not supporting PDP. I am calling on obedience to massively support every Labour Party candidate in the United States and across Nigeria, especially in Suruleri. Every Labour candidate. Because PDP, APC, let us come out massively and support, vote for Labour Party candidates. Suleri constituency one, Suleri constituency two, House of Assembly uh, 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 candidates, support them, vote for them. For governorship, support our governorship candidate. Thank you very much.